This odd little device from eBay is what's called a solar burglar-proof light. And the idea is, it's got a self adhesive pad, you stick it in your vehicle, and it's got a little solar panel on the top, and a blue LED tucked at the end of the battery inside. And at night time, when it gets dark, I'm going to be able to emulate it getting dark. Is it going to show? Is it? Yes, there it goes. You've got a little blue light inside that when the solar panel is covered or when it's dark, it just flashes as if you've got an alarm system in the, the vehicle. And it looks as though, and at first, that they've made a decent attempt to make it waterproof because it's, it is glued. You can actually see the sort of, it's not ultrasonic weld, I don't think, because you can see this a super gluish or the solvent type uh, white line around here. And then it comes around to the switch, which is just open. So um, it's not really waterproof unless that's kind of angled down the way so no water goes in. But anyway, I feel the need to open this. So um, it is sealed quite tight. I'm going to have a go with the vice of knowledge. Uh, just squeezing this to crack the seal, and if the vice of knowledge does not impart wisdom from it, then um, then I'll just pause the video momentarily while I use other means of force. I don't want to squeeze the top because the solar panel is under there. Incidentally, the solar panel, we'll find out when we open it, because um, the solar panel looks a bit odd, because it doesn't look like a normal section solar panel. It looks as though they've given it a sort of finish to hide it, uh, or maybe it's just the sort of grey of the plastic. Uh, this isn't actually... This isn't uh, relinquishing its secrets. I've got a horrible feeling. I may have to pause. I think I'm going to have to pause the video. And this is where a spudger is just not going to do it. I think this may end up being quite destructive. I'll be back shortly. So a set of plumber's wrist amplifiers did the job nicely here. So uh, let's uh, get this open now. Ah, uh, the solar panel is... It, it, now I see it out, it's probably just the matte finish and the fact it's quite dark. Now I've got it out, I can actually see the four sections in this. So what have we got? Not a lot. The chip. Okay, I'll read the numbers off the chip. Now, they've done it surface mount style, but it's a standard 8-pin chip that's just been soldered down onto the pads. And it's called an 861A YX. 861A. And underneath them, guess that's a date code 5Y997. 861A. YX. Odd. Uh, what voltage is this cell? It's, it's 1.2 volts. So, whatever they're doing, they're boosting the voltage up to drive. Is that really a 1.2 volt cell? Meter. Technically speaking, yeah, you know, keep in mind that this is uh, four sections. This is probably putting out about two volts. So that will be going through a diode um, to charge that. I wonder if this chip is actually a dedicated chip just to this task. Let's uh, measure the voltage of that cell. It's probably going to be somewhere between 1.2 to 1.5. It's 1.28. That's reasonable enough. It is just a single cell. That's quite interesting. I wondered if they were just maybe using something like a standard timer chip. I'm going to have to go and look that up now, haven't I? Yep, I'm going to have to find out what this chip is. Okay, in hindsight I should have thought that, shouldn't I? It's a standard chip found in the solar garden lights, designed to charge with the four solar cells, uh, the sections of four solar cell giving it about two volts, charging a typical 1.2 volt cell, and then it's got the on, off, or flash mode. And when you put it to the flash mode, uh, the LEDs blink, rather predictably, and uh, it, you can actually set the speed they flash at, and all they've done is they've adjusted the resistor values on the chip to flash just one single LED with a suitable uh, little inductor that's just rated for, you know, instead of trying to light an awful lot of LEDs, it's just lighting one little LED. So it does make me wonder what the quiescent current of that circuit is. The only way I can really think of finding that out is to... Oh, actually, no, because it's flash on off, that, off, that would be quite hard to measure. Um, oh, this is where a little uh, data logger type thing would have been quite handy. But, um, yeah, so it's it's quite amusing in a way that they've just basically used a... a it's like a miniature set of uh, solar garden lights, but I, I'm guessing that f for to run off that little cell... Oh, then again, it is solar lights. So they are designed to run at very low current... Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's uh, 
It's a neat, it's a neat application for that. Uh, I, I really wasn't expecting that. I thought it was either going to be a repurposed chip, which I suppose it is in a way, but um, or a dedicated little microcontroller. And I wasn't expecting it to be one point two volts. But then again, that's explained by the fact it is a solar garden lighting chip that they've just basically just adjusted accordingly to just flash a single LED at a slower rate. Yeah, that's actually quite neat. I quite like that. Yeah, I wasn't going to leave it alone at that, was I? I took the cell off and disconnect one leg of the solar panel so that it just runs all the time, jumped on some leads and ran it from a bench supply at 1.3 volts. And the current, with the LED on continually, uh, with the current pulsing it was a 0 0.07 milliamps, 70 microamps when it was off, but it was only on for very brief bursts and it was around about 1 milliamp, but I wanted to know if it actually was, went on all the time. So I found the mode pin and the mode pin is tied to... Um, I think it's negative. <clears throat> yes, it is. It's tied to negative. And if you disconnect it and just leave it floating, it goes into constant mode uh, as opposed to flashing. So I lifted that pin with the, just tucked the solder iron under it, melted the solder and lifted it off the pad. So the LED is lit all the time and it is, it's only drawing 1.3 uh, milliamps which is just tiny, uh, even in this, the on state. What's interesting here is the current actually matches the voltage on the power supply. What if I turn it up just out of interest at 1.4 volts? Yeah, it's kind of actually tracing the... What if I turn it down to 1.1? Uh, 1.08? Oh no, it drops off quite dramatically at that, but it's still lit. Let's see what voltage I can turn it down. It cuts off about... 1 volt, but that actually might have a voltage threshold sensor to protect the nickel metal hydride cells. Okay, that's interesting. To get the, um, I'll just bump that back up to about 1.3, to get the LED current down, because keep in mind this is designed for controlling like the strings of lights and uh, sort of around the trees and gardens that run off the solar panel. To get the current down, all they've done is they've changed the inductor, which would normally be in the region about 33 microhenries. They've actually used a really big one. It's um, 820 microhenries in this little... And it's quite an odd package. It's a little uh, black plastic. I always thought that was a diode at first. But um, it is actually an uh, inductor, and that's the one that's being used to drive the LED. So that's an unusually high value, and that's why ultimately the LEDs run at extremely low uh, level. Uh, of just one milliamp. Um, so that's interesting. It kind of opens up the possibility that if you have some of those strings of the outdoor lights and and they're running, you know, for them out of... If you're in a low sunlight neighbourhood, so to speak, in a part of country, then you could actually change the inductor to actually get that uh, the current to your LEDs down a bit uh, and make the battery life last longer. But yes, that was quite interesting. Uh, the cell is... What, let's see, what's it rated uh, in terms of... Duration. Uh, it's at 80 milliamp hour. 80 milliamp. Do I have some similar cells? I do have similar cells up here. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, so that was interesting. That was quite, f actually, a lot more fun than I was expecting. <laughs>